The oldest democracy in the world is ironically facing a threat from a group of people who call themselves Democrats. We are talking about the Democrat Party in the United States, which is trying to dismantle the American right-wing ecosystem. And we're not exaggerating. The liberals have actually started deleting right-wing thought in a brazen attempt to turn the US into a China-style one-party system. In fact, it seems that the US capital security breach is just the kind of opportunity that the Democrats and leftist forces needed to delete the opposition against the Democrats. The Republicans are presently on the back foot. Some of them are even apologetic about the US capital security breach because they have fallen for anti-Trump propaganda. You see, the Republicans are so divided and so low on morale that the leftists have found the perfect opportunity to kill the right wing and delete the opposition. The American left is not stopping its attempts at annihilating the grand old party or destroying Trump's political career. What the US liberals are doing now is wiping out the right wing at all levels. So, Trump is being relentlessly targeted along with the pro-right wing media outlets or portals like Fox News, New York Post and The Federalist. Even Trump supporters are being labeled as rioters and insurrectionists. What the US is facing is a genocide of the right wing ideology at the hands of the left liberals. The idea of boycotting and deleting right wing voices and interests in the United States of America is quite old. Take the Coors Brewing Company for instance. The company has been facing a boycott from the left liberals for the last five decades. Its only fault is being allegedly pro-conservative. But this time, the Western liberals are looking to simply delete their ideological opponents. It all started with attempts to uproot the right-wing media, which grew as the leftist mainstream media shamelessly batted for the Democrats. For example, in June last year, TechCrunch reported that Google booted out right-wing website Zero Hedge. There was also an NBC News report about another right-wing blog, The Federalist, getting demonetized on the search engine, but Google denied demonetizing it. Then, of course, the New York Post faced restrictions on Facebook and Twitter last year. The social media giants restricted a story about Joe Biden published by New York Post. But these were just small incidents reflecting how an ideological group of left liberals wanted to usurp its opponent. But the real blitz came after the US Capitol security breach. This time, the leftists decided to delete the most popular right-wing voice across the world, that is Donald Trump. The outgoing US president was either banned or at least temporarily restricted everywhere from Facebook to Twitter and from Snapchat to Instagram. The bans and restrictions against Trump were the first clues. It was a signal from an incoming Democrat regime that the American right wing won't be allowed to express itself. And now, the outgoing US president is also facing a business backlash from the left liberals. Several companies and institutions have started cutting business ties with Trump. Imagine how even the New York mayor Bill de Blasio, a Democrat, has openly announced the city of New York will no longer have anything to do with the Trump organization. There is a lot of vendetta against Trump and the right wing. The bigger issue is that there is not even a feeble attempt to conceal such political hostility of the liberals. After Trump, however, it was the turn of the Trump supporters. Consider what Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer has to say. Schumer believes that everyone who walked into the US Capitol is an insurrectionist and a threat to national security. So, he wants them to be put on a federal no-fly list. And then, the right-wing thinkers are also being denied space in the online medium by the left liberals. Parler, a social media platform popular amongst Trump supporters, has also been cut off by the big tech. The Democrats and their supporters are ready to go berserk now. Fox News has even alleged CNN staffers have already contacted the six major cable carriers in this country, the companies that carry our signal into your home, and pressured them to drop Fox News. The American left liberals are now legitimizing censorship in their outrage against the right wing. This is a dangerous turn of events and may as well reduce the US into a one-party system, while liberals would still call it a democracy.